Okay, we are a little bit older and wiser about the Impala's wiring. Both of the bulbs were burnt out, and apparently I had one bad super bright LED bulb, and apparently the other one was in backwards because there's a positive and a negative side to it. So, this is the comparison of an incandescent bulb, regular bulb, that is used, by the way, it's not brand new, and the LED bulb super bright. So now I'm going to put them back into the sockets again. Now the incandescent bulb came out of my Yukon because I'm going to now, I only ordered four bulbs, two for each of my cars. The average car actually does have two by the way so it's got a backup. Um, so We can actually get a side-by-side -side comparison. Two. Shoot. I'm getting so. <clears throat> All right. Let's see. Gotta get that one twisted in right. Not much hand space in these things, that's for sure. Okay, that's secure. Now back to my handy dandy. License plate. Fake. Here. These bulbs are fragile, by the way. So be careful with them. So that, you can't see the actual quality of it. It's super great on the actual license plate because there's a glare with the camera. But you can see the white bright difference and here in person, it, the plate looks significantly brighter on the left than it does on the right. Um, it's significantly reader, more readable. So anyway, once you get a second light in there, it should uh, look pretty good. So, and that is how to do this. This is a 2002 Chevy Impala.